blah blah but in the dms there are something else there are something else eh? don't mind them now like, so many families go cast to your husbands hmm. but it's not like they tell you so you say uh i'm in the uk i'm the u.s when i come back i want to who give who gives an f it's like they for germany they anyway they canada i don't care as long as you bring that money i'll chop the money and you will not see me do you understand okay fine okay let's not talk about what we're talking about bro guys now what if these young ladies because of we pressuring them they have to have money once they come over they do bad things like put their hand for yahoo ritual they can't come use those quack quack on the ritual you don't say when, when you want to go do that ritual you go first tell me you be the person where you love yeah okay like oh, really? you mean what what do you mean uh don't you think is the way of also pushing them to do things that they are not supposed to do you mean because the broke guys yes i mean the broke guys why should do you think negative there are things you can do to get money why should it be the ritual why should it be like you can't be positive and get money so, so if your mind is going to let me say you be bad person normally okay, you understand? Where, they feed you, where they go feed their rich uh, brick lane you feed to brick lane let, let her get money if you do no, like, get a lot of people you feed that to brick lane huh? i'll think about it <laughs> i'm gonna think about oh, it man. but which one should not be the first thing that comes to your mind? If if which one comes to your mind, you you have been a bad person because there are guys who are like trying. Do you understand? Know when I say broke, when I say broke guys, and you and you admit that you, are, you that you are a broke guy, it means that you be broke guy. There are guys who don't have money, but they have this rich mentality. They have this rich mindset. They don't feel angry, so they be broke guy. Do you understand? Know so by the call side of I know that the only thing you are good at is insults. You don't have deeds finish. You're talking about intellect. You're talking about the fact that I cannot stand you. Ha! Side of you can't even talk for 10 minutes straight up. You go, they stammer, you go, they do. <laughs> what you do is you write, you join, you cram, and you edit. Even this video where you do now, you don't talk for straight 10 minutes. Now cut and join and edit. See, uh, let me quickly tell you. Hmm? If let's say if you don't get time to lay that your dirty front are where you they lay, I bet buy closure instead of be embarrassing yourself. And when you carry that your dirty front are paste for head, buy better closure to respond to you. You said, Um, I came to you, I brought you to my live video. No, my darling, you initiated the live video. My mini me went to guess us now. You initiate the live video, so you won't do live video now. You even do flyer <laughs> where I call repost. And let me tell you, the reason why I didn't respond to you on that live video was because, remember I said, I called you my mini-me because you are the senseless part of me. You know, when you like people sometimes, even when they are acting stupid, you could just be, you know, uh, that was why I didn't respond to you. That was why I didn't talk. I was just laughing. Yes, you know that point someone is sounding stupid? It hurts you so much that I finally have the courage to tell you to shut up your dirty mouth. You're young jazz. You don't de talk nonsense. Why are you feeling so hot? Not your opinion you drop online. I counter the opinion you don't begin to cry, they get insulted. Wait, Fef, make I analyze this your response one at a time. Make I sit down. Hmm? Let me get a chair. Okay? Number one, you said, Oh, I couldn't even stand you in a live video. I was sleeping when I brought you to a live video. And you are more intelligent than me. I'm jealous of you. Jealous of what? Side about you can't make a complete statement. You stammer when you talk. Have you listened to yourself in the podcast? You can't even grant a full live interview. You can't even anchor a show. For you to actually run your mini mouth, they have to invite you to a podcast and be asking you questions. Can you hold a conversation? Now those you are editing, when you sit down, they cut and join on your video. Before you come on a live session or before you act a video, you read, edit, you go lace front, you go put back before head, you go do makeup. Are you not confident in yourself as a woman? I think it's so lame for you to come out and say that I am jealous of you. See, all the people who gave me awards are reputable awards. Go and Google. You can buy just to feel among. Number two, when I talk about certification, you're not rich. A small girl. Yes. <laughs> this is pay you. He pay you. Ah! That is to show you how powerful I am. Everybody insults you, you know, cry, but immediately I criticize you or more you set ring light is to show you how powerful my voice is. And because you know that I can make you trend, 
I can actually help you without your dead music where you sing. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Have you not ever wondered that, yes, I just did hype you for hyping sake. But I did promote song, I never promote that your song. Because it wasn't making sense. But you know, when you like people, like you say, you know, go on tell them how senseless they are. Hmm? <laughs> Number five. Come closer. Come closer. Closer. You say you need me, that I gave you an advertisement to do. I didn't give you an advertisement. A friend of mine was selling beddings and she was like, do you have any friends? You know, we get numbers for Instagram. And I was like, yes, any slick beddings. I gave you a duvet to run an advert and you've been using that duvet for more than three months. Even the young lady who sells the expensive duvet was saying, I go give Saida Borch another bed, you know. She don't overuse that one. You use them, I be you not use them. <laughs> you talked about my office. The day where you call my office, fear no catch you. Fear no catch you. I was the first person who invited you to a television show. You don't appear on TV, you appear on blogs. I was the first person who brought you to a television show, Pop Central, Moments with Blessing CEO. And if you go and watch that show, you will notice that I didn't even really talk. Remember you say, I be weary, I be energetic, not because I like you, not because you be the senseless part of me. And you know, because you be the mini senseless part of me, I don't always want to put it to your face that you are not making sense. For the first time, I looked at you and told you to shut up your gutter mouth and stop promoting prostitution. See how you did cry. See how you did hot. See how you did shake. Now, wow! Imagine, say, I don't criticize you. I don't drop your opinion. I didn't say your career for don't buy. You said Facebook. I told you Facebook. You met me, called me, and said you want to verify your page on Facebook. And I told you, okay, my other Facebook was disabled. We can go live. This shit is 50-50. Why they never verify you for Facebook? Hello? I was even the one to tell you what to say, what not to say, so that they don't get your page banned because you run your gutter out. Not be me to tell you. Tell you, avoid this, avoid that, avoid that. That is because I'm a biggie and you are meaning me. I say biggie, all I will do is advise you. Now, millennial I be, you just be Gen Z buddy. We no get sense. You understand? You talked about live video, live video. Now you say you won't go live with me. You say you go scatter internet. Now you do flyer. Now you do banner. Now you give me and we went live. Let me tell you, Sider Botch. I'm one woman who wants to support young people. Go and ask a lot of people. And that's why I feel free to comment on people's page. You said eh, you are intelligent. That's the reason why. No, you are not intelligent. You are just outspoken. And when you are outspoken, you need people to correct you because sometimes you can be making noise. Recently and lately, you've become so noisy and so lousy. Remember, I applauded your brand, but I did not applaud your stupidity to come out and be telling women to sleep around, kiss around, do this one. Oh, say that to the beds. Shut up your mouth. About, you talked about my ex-husband that I should go get pregnant and I should go give birth to kids. I should go give birth to cha 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 cha. See, see, slide a board. I don't even think you're up to three years on the internet. You know, you've been struggling before all this, your noise finally took you to a noisy place. You see, when it comes to children and people's life, I don't want to go into that. So I will pass because I am more mature. You know, maturity comes with the millennials. Childishness comes with the Gen Zs. <laughs> so I will pass that because I don't want to dive into your personal life and begin to insult you. Let me actually go to the one that is more important, Sida Borge. Do not divert from the main issue that got us to this spot. You that is busy promoting prostitution, shouting, ladies, it's kiss different men. Carry this man to a hotel. Carry what has a man done for you? The highest thing I've seen that you have posted online is an iPhone 16. You benefit from um, Facebook earnings. I was even telling you I will help you be monetized. You said you're monetized on Facebook. There was a time they demand. You benefit from Facebook. People pay you for advertisement. You charge for advertisement, right? What has a man done for you? Has a man bought you a car? Has a man bought you a house? What kind of car do you even drive? How much is it what? Then why do you keep encouraging girls to sleep around when at the end of the day your life does not even show this nonsense that you're talking about? Have you even looked at your hair? The hair that you wear? Ha! Those are strong synthetic. Ha! They call it mixture. Ngwongwo kind of weak. 
that one they tell you it is mixed human hair versus fiber that is the reason why your front and know they ever lay it always stand anytime where they lay and it go stand now because seen as synthetic and sponge come on you don't say that in public you don't promote prostitution give a shower there your eyes huh? you go come and join a shower if you come and talk say you don't join a shower i know go criticize you don't hide under the base of a voice of a girl child to promote rubbish. You will not be promoting voice of a girl child and be promoting prostitution. Is that what you're going to teach the girl child? Even if you do a shower, if you come outside, at least respect yourself when you, before you open that your gut and they talk nonsense. I'm one person who have said you can double date. Because dating does not mean that you sleep around. But you came out to say, kiss different men. If a man carry you come this hotel, carry another man come. Why are you diverting from the main topic and getting insultive? What you said was aren't nonsense and trust me so long as this internet space is concerned i will continue to correct you if you want to cry cry i will see then i will wait for your response and make sure this time you lay your front down very well and you edit very well your comeback was very lame trust me i am still holding back not to go personal on your life and to add side of you know that we were never friends you don't know me i am just a brand who applauded your small brand look at how you were jumping anytime let's see you correct on your page you go pin up now you did run your match oh my god don't worry i know you want to use this to promote your music we are going to analyze that one too toxic 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 voice of the girl child i'll be voice of a show come on get out get out Hey, big versus mini me when it gets sense. It's Melania versus Gen Z. So you like this nyash? No wonder you tell me, say, Mama, I am saving money. If I do my body, when I have money to do my body, I will shut down social media. But baby girl, you are not up to this nyash now. You can't afford it. You're going to keep like 20 million. All those boys, all those men who you shout, sleep in the hotel, sleep. Can they afford this? Huh? Eh? See how it's soft. Like today's bread. Your dream body. <laughs> you say you are proud of your nyash. You are proud of your body. You are proud of the small nyash where you get. Uh, you say the small nyash where I get. Now nah, I run, go fix my body. You still carry the nyash. My nyash be even big past your own. Before I still add fat to the nyash. Your nyash will be like table tennis. See as it's small. See as it's round. <laughs> so don't you want to stand. You guys do like this. If you don't do like this. That nyash. You know it's stand. You be like paka. You know. I don't want to body shame you. I don't resist the shalaye to body shame you. You know, as a professional relationship and mental expert, a certified one of that, and um, I'm actually trying to correct you and teach you as the self-acclaimed voice of the girl child, I'll be voice of Ashao. So I don't want to go down that route with you. See you, voice of the girl child. Or oh, see the first thing we do, the body shame. Hmm? Oshé, Ashe, voice of Ashao. Anyway, let me see that. You know, I like to stand up first, you know, to show you what you desire. This is your desire. Mm -hmm. Pack all those men where you live with for hotel. All those money where you they pack, they rent, they go club. Enough you do this thing. So make I sit down so that I will fit table your matter. Mm -hmm. My own, I know they like to shout. Let me get a stool so I can sit down and uh, analyze what you said. Remember on my videos I said I am not going to body shame you. I am not going to insult you. I am going to educate you in a very demure 
and color seaway. So let me start by tabling what you said. First of all, why did it take you close to 13 hours to reply me? Were you lacing your dirty frontal? You were fixing lashes and doing makeup and editing. <laughs> You talked about stammering. That stammering is what makes you unique. Why do you hide it? Why do you hide it with a detail? Why don't you stammer? Let people see that is what makes you unique. You hide it because you're not proud of it. I actually know that you're stammering because I've invited you for my show before and you were stammering. So I covered up for you. Number two, you said when you came to my office, it was smelling. That is lame. That is lame. An office that you were like, wow, wow. Wow. You said I told you that I had DTT house in Lekki. Really? You tell a lot of lies. I told you that this is my office because you were wild. My relationship therapy lounge is the first in Africa. It's a 12 bedroom duplex situated at the heart of Lekki. When you came in, you were wild because my office is a beautiful lounge. I was trying to tell you that that is not where I stay. This is my office and I also have a house in Lekki. See. I think you are actually intimidated by me, but you should not be because you're a small girl. You have not gone as half as my journey. You're not even my age. You might be close to my age, but you're not my age. So I don't see that competition that you're saying, Blessing says she has a house. I have more than I even see that I have. Yes, because I've worked for it. That is why you call me mama. Oh my God, you said a lot in the video and it was actually very laughable. Why did you block me? Why did you block me? That was lame. You know, when you want to do a mature conversation, you are going to leave it open. You cannot block me and go and start making a video. It doesn't make sense. And that's the reason why I'm going to just keep it very classy and simple because you are already a coward to have blocked me. You talked about my body. Ah, my body be like jaga jaga. My body, you know, I just laugh in foreign language. My body when I did it was worth over seven million. If you want to do a liposuction right now and a BBL, you're going to be spending not less than 15 million. Trust me, all those your riffraff boys put together cannot give you up to that amount of money. That's not possible. So you will remain with that <coughs> flat nyash. <laughs> and that looks like the tennis baka. Yes. Why do you know that the very first day that we met, you were not proud of your body? I was the one encouraging you. You were wearing a short blue gown. You were looking so straight. You just did hide your nyash. You were very uncomfortable with your backside. Without your abashi where you tie. I was the one telling you you are beautiful. I was the one trying to like boost up your confidence. You know, even though I knew you were looking very cheap and tacky, but you're my fellow woman, you know, women supporting women, but I refuse to support rubbish. So when it comes to body confidence, side about you don't have it. When it comes to confidence, now me, they boost your confidence. And that was your excitement. I mean, they give you morale. You ask me so many times, how do you build your confidence? How do you deal with trolls? How do you do, 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 do? I teach you all this stuff. I never knew you were going to be a troll one day, but I'm going to deal with you the same way I deal with them. And I'm glad you've watched me deal with a lot of them. See, let me tell you something about my body. Even before liposuction, I was very confident. I'm going to put up a video here for you to see what my body looks like. It was far, 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 far better than yours after two children. Your body has not carried each out. And your breasts are already sad with stretch marks. If you take off your bra, your boobs are getting to the plate. Gen Z body, you've not had a child, yet your boobs are dropped. What about your ass? <laughs> I'm trying so hard not to body shame you because I'm a professional. But the truth about it is you're not confident like you claim. And trust me, if you have money, go fix that body. So that when you want to snap picture, you're not going to be staying in a corner and hiding yourself. If you so admire this body, the way you analyzed it, it simply means you've paid so much attention. If I go to a couple of my videos on Instagram, all your comments are still there. Is the body for me, mama, your body for me, your body for me. The ba that was the first thing you told me when you saw me. Your body is banging. And I said, thank you. Ashe. I can't wear G for this video. Gosh, I'm just so dramatic, even though I'm trying to be professional. So let me tell you, right? Talk is cheap. 
or classics expensive. No matter how much you sit down and you run your mouth, side of watch, you are a classless. When I mean classless, girl. Even when it comes to your outfits, you can't even package. Did you see your birthday photo shoots? What was that white and white that you wore? <laughs> I swear I was looking for a better picture of your birthday shoot. Did you see that white and white satin that you used to do a photo shoot? What happened? Is it the red and red native? I was ashamed of you. The ribbon where you pack for your head, where is 17? Come on, girl. If you were actually a brand, at least you will get a good photographer. Even people who will do free photo shoot for you so that you could look good. That's the first ever photo shoot you've ever done in your entire life. And trust me, you flopped. But as usual, as my mini me, I covered up for you. When it comes to your physical look, your hair, your makeup, your lashes, they are very, very tacky. So you are the least person that should body shame anybody. Because trust me, trust me, look at you and look at me. <laughs> like I said, all my videos are not to put you down. It's just to put you in your place. All my videos are not to insult you. It's just to correct you. So I'm not going to go as low as you go, right, with insults. Because I'm a mother. Yeah, I'm a mother. And you know I'm your mama. Even while I'm correcting you, I don't have to body shame you. So I can spank your flat nyash, that's like paka, in correction. But I don't want to body shame you because as a mother, if I body shame you, it will affect you. No matter how you're pretending to run your gutter mouth. Anyways... I got a video. I haven't watched your video, but a lot of people just dropped a few words for me. Before I step out, I said, let me just reply you. Your replies and your comeback are so lame. Trust me. They are so lame. And I don't want to reduce myself to insulting you. I just want to tell you the fact. And that's why it hits you so bad. Fix your look. Get a better outfit. Those things you wear are rags and they are tacky. Fix your hair, get a better stylist, right? That lashes that you put in your eyes is very tacky. You can do a semi-permanent lashes. You look very tacky. And that's the reason why there has not been any reasonable brand that has associated with you. Now I'm telling you why. And that's why I'm your mama. Last but not the least, you said the day you met me, people were disrespecting me. You're a blatant liar. Who saw you the day you met me? From my office? You waited for me in Pop Central. You were in your 2004 Acura vehicle. You were sweating, so you went into your car. Even though the AC was not working, you were managing. I met you in Pop Central. I went drove in. So who and who saw me in Pop Central? So who did you say disrespected me around you? You know, in a bit to be crazy, you tell lies. One thing about me is that I don't lie. I don't like to tell lies. So there's no need of, you know, train banters and saying, who, who, who then born? Even you, aside a budge, apart from this social media banter, they don't burn you away for real life to see me talk. You can't even stand me on the internet. You've blocked me, not talking of real life. Nge jola, masa siage is a whoop that's your lashes. Masa siage that your cheap front. Oh, like a cop. That's your sponge. Got that on his You know already now. So, stop telling lies in the bits to entertain the public. Mm? You already know that when it comes to blessing CEO, and cider budge. There is a class. The reason why I'm bringing down myself to talk to you and to do this with you is because you're my mini me. Remember? Micro mini me. So once in a while, we just feed the senseless part of us. Acme, Darlington will say, we are going to have four minutes of Nzuzu session. So you are my Nzuzu session. So once in a while, I would like to reply you and I would like to talk to you. And what I actually do, and the reason why I'm replying you in this video is to reduce your IQ. Yes, because I think you're a lady that thinks that you're intelligent. You're not intelligent. You're just noisy, nosy. You don't even have facts about the things that you say. So I'm going to give you an advice. Get professional courses. Enlighten yourself more. Read more. Be more intellectual instead of being insultive. It's going to take you further than this noise that you're making. I'm 10 years on the media, still relevant, trending and still hot. 
you're just barely two years. And if you continue like this, you will fade into oblivion. You are not the voice of the girl child. You are the voice of the upcoming Ashaos. So be guided so that the government does not hold you when you use that word and you start shouting. I am not the voice of the girl child. I am an internet police for women so that you don't switch your lines. This is just an advice. Still me, your mama. Still you, my micro mini. Cha-cha. Very mindful. Very demure. Cider Butch. My mini useless me. My minimal me. <clears throat> I am so happy that you have covered that debt you call a frontal. There's something about me you need to understand. I have this authoritative personality. If I order you, if I command you, you must do it. I'm so happy you have adhered to my command to cover that dirty frontal that you carried. See as you tie full scarf like he borrow where you be. <laughs> That's why you call me mama. And I call you mini, minimum, maximum me. The senseless part. You say enjoy the relevance between you and I. Who you follow I increase. <laughs> you know people don't take you seriously. You are a joke. I've given you followers. You said you notice I don't turn this thing to skit. You failed at skit making. You remember? Now skit, now you take start. <clears throat> but you failed at it. You try moving. You failed at it. You try comedy. You failed at it. Now this yeah, 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 shallow behavior. Now I can't give you some a little bit of relevance. You say you are busy. You have music to promote. The last time I checked and you said, let me get office. You know get office. <laughs> <laughs> so all the while, you know they do anything. Now music, now be your work. See, my darling. You see that work thing where you sing? That's what actually you do for a living, my darling. You're not doing anything. You and I know say you know get work. What you sit every day and do is roam about from place to place. Borrowing money from different um, house and man. Go to a shower for party. Do video of 500,000 naira. Show video of 200,000 naira. We then spray you. You guru. Now you're saying blessing be happy. <clears throat> See, when you talk about cider butch and blessing CEO, I be brand. You be noise. <laughs> blessing CEO, the certified relationship therapist. Book author, mother, mother. entrepreneur. And more. <laughs> but you, did you notice what bloggers call you? The last time I checked, Gossip Mew called you activist. <laughs> Voice of the upcoming Ashawo. You don't even have an identity. Google me and Google you. The first therapy lounge in Africa. Nami Betan. Your song never even reached 200 views for Spotify. It's still struggling. And you know it's only blessed to see you that can raise dead career. Me, I be undertaker. You, you be new taker. Now we be OGs. Now we did this on the street. You just did learn. You've just been here for barely one year. When you trended with that, your nonsense of 20 millionaire. And since then, you've been struggling. It's not why you've been saying, Mama, let's go live. Mama, let me do flyer. Let me learn it suddenly. Now you won't give me relevance. Now, blessing see you be the big name. And that's the reason why you chose to drag me. I didn't drag you. I corrected you. But you chose to quickly drag me because you know, see, now me, Okoro Blessing, they raise dead carriers. Now me, if it take you to the next level, my own I they play, it is show. At the mention of blessing see you, every knee they bow. Every living dead, they open their mouth. So I am rather going to say, enjoy it. Do you understand? Stop taking glory where you never even reach to carry. You're not rich. You just be hype yourself. The records are there. See, normally me and you not rich. <clears throat> you're not rich, my leg. But like you said, you know, I love to trend. This thing where you did do, now my food. Now I take by Benz. 
Now I take build houses and now I strive on a success. Controversy is what I feed on. I did chop like shawama. A PC where you put for your body. The next kind of tattoo where you go see <clears throat> na manu war. A manu war go brutal. This is another nonsense cheap flower where you draw for your hand. You feel call it pain. <laughs> Side of My minimal, maximum, micro, mini me. You're too small. That is why I don't even need to shout or drag with you in the video. You said. I will reply you when I like. You cannot make me to be doing videos. Let me tell you, the difference between you and I is that I'm intellectually smart. I'm very outspoken and I can speak for more than two hours. It's a gift. You can't. You're a bloody stammerer. That's why you edit your conduct. Because I'm intelligent and spontaneous, even before we had this saga, I post every AK market day. Now we did it call posting on two. I post every given time. I don't control my post. I go live every now and then. It is not because of you. Stop taking the promotion. This is who I've been. Anybody will know me, no say. Blessing, they always post every AK market day. Stop taking unnecessary credits. I go, I reply, you are not replying me when you want. You are replying me when you can edit, when you can cover your dirty hair, fix your dirty lashes, and put your dirty filters and edit. That's the reason why you are replying me. One, one. See, eh? in as much as they did hype you, we all know our intellectual capacity. And when it comes to that, you could come up body because you're not rich. You said that I am picking my lines <clears throat> because I'm afraid to make mistakes. Really? Are you that lame? I am picking my lines because of community guidelines. I don't want my page to be disabled. That's why I'm picking my words. And I'm trying as much as possible to be civil. Yes. See, know the hype yourself. I help you build your page. I help you bring you luck to life. I've been 10 years on the media. I am rooted. I am a root rooted to the soil. You are just a branch. We can cut you out anytime, any day. Remember when we were still talking, I taught you about branding. You've not branded yourself. And I will say to you again, no reputable brand has associated with you. That's to show you that you are not doing well. <laughs> now me, born you, and I don't disown you. Because I realize, say the person will give me belly for you. Now rape you, rape me. You're a very useless child. And trust me, the fact that I disown you does not mean that I cannot tame you as my useless child. Cider Butch, I have made it a duty to tame you. Any video where you do, I could drag you. <laughs> you know the difference between you and I? You de arrange your page. I know they arrange my page. The difference between you and I be say. You the edit. I know the edit. You be Igboro. I be Agboro. You be Gen Z when you get sense. I be millennia with the rooted. I no need to be insultive to pass my message. The most important thing is that you get it and you reply accordingly. I await your next post. This dragon for which one year. The question be say, you get liver. You get mind. You feel runner. No tire, no form maturity, focus. Because this dragon go long go. I gave you relevance, enjoy it. Really? You gave me relevance. Google Blessing CEO and Google Cider Budge. <laughs> I believe in records, not noise.